Previously, I showed you how this new Firma 150 V2 ESC had a pretty major problem in it, where it would momentarily stab the brakes when transitioning from around three quarters throttle to below half throttle. If you haven't seen my previous video, this is what that looks like. Yep. Horizon has just released an update for this ESC, and in this video, we're gonna update the ESC, then we're gonna go and see if they fix this problem or if it's still an issue. Now, if you like to get all the latest information first, make sure you get subscribed, because we're doing that here every day. Let's check this out. In order to perform this update, we're gonna need the Spectrum Smart V2 ESC programmer. Of course, you'll need your 150 amp Firma V2 ESC, and you're gonna need a computer. I'm gonna be using a Windows computer. Go on your computer and go to the page on the Horizon website for the programmer. There's a link to download the software on there. Once you've got the software downloaded and extracted to a folder, open up the USB link programmer software. The first thing we're gonna need to do is update the firmware on our program box. Select device from the top menu, choose LCD program box. Select firmware upgrade on the left hand side. You'll see there's a newer version of firmware available. Hit the upgrade button and it will upgrade the firmware on the LCD program box. Once you're done with with that, come back to the car. We'll need a battery to power the ESC. Take your program box, make sure you've got your cable connected in properly on here. Plug it into the ESC following the legend on the fan port. Then we'll plug this back into the computer and turn on the car. Then we're gonna go up to the top, choose ESC for the device. Go back to firmware upgrade and you'll see there's a new firmware available for the ESC as well. Go ahead and let that upgrade run. And then you can go in and verify that the firmware is updated. Right now it's B5.07. That might change in the future though. And then you'll also notice we can program the ESC with the smart programmer, which we couldn't do before. I guess that's a nice bonus. First thing I want to do is test whether or not that part throttle inconsistency is still there after the firmware update. All right, it still feels like it's there. So that either means that this firmware update isn't going to fix the problem or that part throttle inconsistency simply isn't related to the issue we were having. Let's go and take this thing out on the road and see if that problem still exists. All right, let's see if the problem is fixed or not. Didn't feel it there. Oh, I think it's fixed. A couple more tries. Not feeling any problem. No, this is fixed. Okay guys, well, that does appear to have fixed the problem. Interesting that it still has that part throttle hesitancy with a motor in open air, but you can't feel it at all when you're running the truck and that braking action going down from full throttle through half throttle is gone. However, I wanna know if they sacrificed any of the upgraded bashing performance in order to fix that. So let's go take this thing out to the ramp, see if it can still bash. Okay, so there we go, guys. At least on my ESC, this problem appears to be fixed and the changes they had to make don't seem to have affected the performance of the ESC at all. It's still fast, it still runs cool. It's definitely still an improvement over the previous generation ESC. So assuming you have this programmer, you can go ahead and update your ESC and fix the problem as well. Now, whether or not Spectrum's gonna give you a free programmer to fix this problem, I'm not sure. I asked them, but haven't heard anything back yet. I'd hope they would, but you never know. Also, whether or not the new EXP RTR Creighton will come with this update already, I have my doubts. Those trucks are already boxed up and it's very unlikely they're gonna unbox all of them to update it. So what do you think? Do you think that Horizon should be giving everybody a free programmer that bought one of these trucks? Do you think a free programmer should come with the new EXP RTR Creighton so that you can update your ESC yourself? Or do you not mind buying one of these to go ahead and get it done? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Then when you're done, check out this video.